And I'm like, Danielle, she's not okay. My baby got stitches in her face. How is that okay? But if that was me, y'all would have put child endangerment, child abduction. Y'all would have did everything under the sun. Y'all would have solved y'all case that night with the police, the helicopters, and everything else. And I was all tearing rights and all that. We took our break. We were talking to Leah. Leah, you still there? Oh, I'm here. Okay, go ahead and finish your story. Okay, I apologize. It was May. It was May. Yeah, was about to, I was about to say because March. Yeah, after. yeah. It's just I'm so happy that somebody actually want to hear about it. It's just like my heart is racing. Okay. Okay. So after that, um, she told me, um. She sent me the picture, and automatically I told her I want her to remove my baby out that house. Mm -hmm. She's making up all these excuses why she came and um that she's okay. And I'm like, Danielle, she's not okay. My baby got stitches in her face. How is that okay? But if that was me, y'all would have put child endangerment, child abduction. Y'all would have did everything under the sun. Y'all would have solved y'all case that night with the police, the helicopters, and everything else. And I was all tearing rights and all that. What makes this lady different? So I'm getting real emotional, pissed off, everything under the sun. So every day I'm calling her, talking about Danielle, no, where is my baby? Can I'm you not going to use any names, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. So I'm telling her, like, can you remove my baby? Remove my baby. Remove my baby. And I'm like, I swear. But she said, no, you got a restraining order. She kept throwing up the restraining order. Well, wait a minute. Let me ask you something. How did the child get injured like that? Okay. DCFS, when they did, um, when they said, um, when I took off my kid, they said I kidnapped them. So when I got caught, um, I had they charged me to criminal court because okay, DCFS didn't want to. Um, Leah, I'm asking you a very direct question. Oh, uh, would you say? How did your child get injured in the face? Oh, I'm sorry. She, the, her, the um, they excuse was that my daughter, she was one at the time. She put her on the potty on the toilet, and um, she fell off reaching for a toy. This is what she told me verbally. But then I looked on a report that she wrote. She wrote on a report that Malaya was sitting on the toilet and she fell off the toilet and hit the bathtub. Mm -hmm. That that didn't fit with me either because I know that's a lie. And at the end of the day, my baby, the picture that I have of my baby when she was in her custody, she had a tablet, and Malaya was playing with the tablet and stuff. So the day she heard, the day that um, she got that call that Malaya was being removed out of her house. Hey, Leah, we're not going to use names, okay? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The day um the caregiver got the call that my baby was being removed from her custody, that's when my baby ended up with the stitches in her face automatically off top but then after that she didn't get removed as quick that I, I asked her my my baby stayed in her custody with her abuser for 11 days after that my baby didn't get removed out of her custody to maybe 11 and I had to call my well, I had to call a worker and tell her on May the 10th, I ain't going to never forget. I told her, I ain't going to accept. I said, I'm not going to accept my baby from the dead, from the missing. None of that. My baby better come the next day and be at that caregiver house with my daughter. Do you have any relatives or family friends that could take any of the children? Let me tell you. Through the process, 
she did not check their background. She did not do what she's supposed to do. Leah, then she made up question. excuses. That's not my question. That's not my question, darling. My question oh, no. is, do you have any relatives or family friends that could take any or all of these children? Yes or no? No. Well, they, my, my kids, grandma, they, she tried to do it, but by her having a previous case uh, a lot of years ago, they told her no. Okay. So, you know, you probably have friends you haven't considered. You probably have relatives that live in your area or outside of your area. No, I don't have no relatives in my area. Uh, That's why I end up fighting for my kids myself. Or outside the state. Yeah, but she they told me no because that's so out the district and it's too far out. If you listen to my shows, the relatives and friends can live anywhere in the world. Okay, there's no such thing as too far out. The law is anywhere in the world. So what you need to do, and this is what I tell people all the time, look, if the social worker tells you no, then you file motions and petitions and paperwork to, to get in front of the judge because it's the judge's decision to uh, make a final decision on where these children are going to be placed. It's not the social workers. Social workers only make recommendations. All right? And if you don't challenge... Now, you know the funny part? That I have filed a 388 and it got granted. So the day I was about to go, me and my attorney... My social worker called my attorney that morning, and he pulled my three my three eighty eight. Who pulled it? My attorney. Okay, so that did your attorney ask you? Huh? Did your attorney ask you for permission to pull your three eighty eight? No, he just did it off top. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to talk to your attorney and or your attorney's supervisor to find out why that was done. Because you didn't. I don't know why, because he said, he talked to the, because uh, I called him on the phone talking to the worker, and he said he felt like the documents are fake too, as well. You mean the documents that you submitted? Yes. Also with the report and, on, and the picture of my daughter, and also the other report with my other, my son, when he was in the same position with his caregiver. Okay. So if the documents aren't fake, can you provide evidence to your attorney that they're not fake. So, for example, the, if there is a letter or a certificate, can you provide a name and a telephone number of the person who provided He had all that. He had the, uh, he had the online. A minute and a half left. He can call there. He, he can do everything in the book, okay. but hey, Lane. he listened to the social worker. Listen, I, you know, we're running out of time for today's show. Um, I want you to give me a call at my office on Monday, 888-888-6582.